Hey everybody, I am the Mighty Plantain, and this week's beer review features a little something that I was very excited to find at my local uh, beer store. A little something from a brewery called Hidden Cove. They're another local main brewery. Discovered them at a, uh, a recent beer festival. One of the things I really like about these guys is their barrel aging program. They're getting into some serious, extreme beers, um, trying to jack up that alcohol by volume. They're also getting some really robust and uh, complex flavor combinations. They're taking old whiskey barrels, aging one beer in it, and then a complementary style of beer with different fruit notes being aged in those same barrels. So over time, you get the complexity of both brews coming through in the final beer. Uh, their strumpet is an example of that. So they've got some really exciting stuff coming down the lines, and they just recently started barreling some of their less extreme beers. Their summer brew is out, and this one is the Patroon IPA. So I'm kind of excited to find out what they're doing with just a regular IPA in their lineup, since they've put out some really good beers. Before we get too far into this, uh, hit me up down below with a like and a share. Go ahead and uh, subscribe as well. You'll get a notification every time I post a new review. Hopefully you're finding some of this information useful. If you have a beer you want to see reviewed, hit me up in the comments. We'll try to accommodate any viewer suggestions. And if you have a beer that you yourself have brewed especially, um, hit me up in the comments or on the email link. I'd like to get some of it in my hands. I'll pull in a couple of other guys. You've seen them in some previous beer reviews. And we'll give you three different opinions on your beer and maybe even some feedback. Um, I'm not the kind of guy who can taste a beer and tell you exactly what's in it in terms of the uh, particular hop blends and styles and what malts, but I can tell you what I like and what I'd like to see different in a different beer. So this is a fairly light IPA, as you can see. You got a little bit of cloudiness to it, but uh, overall, a very nice golden color. You can't quite see through it, so it's just cloudy enough, but uh, overall, not very dark. Um, I'm expecting something very light out of this. Very effervescent. I can see a lot of bubbles coming up. Not much of an aroma coming off of it. And there's a vague fruity hoppiness to it. It comes in quite bitter up front, but as it uh, as it rolls off the tongue, that bitterness fades away. Getting an overall hoppy bitterness. Some floral notes coming through. A bit piney. It's actually got a pretty well balanced uh, between those floral notes and those pine notes and the overall bitterness of the hops. And it's got a pretty balanced hop profile. Um, it's not blowing me away. Uh, some well, beers got to work really hard to do that. But overall, I'm going to hit this up with a 4 out of 5 in terms of uh, a rating. It's just a very good, very solid IPA with some subtle notes but nothing that's too overpowering. The, um, the hobby bitterness fades in the aftertaste, so it doesn't stick around, it doesn't get cloying. Um, it's a very well put together IPA. But as always, that's just my opinion. Definitely check it out for yourself and let me know what you think. Until next time, cheers.